NIPT non-invasive prenatal test is one of the many screening tests available to screen for genetic abnormalities in the growing embryo. As the name suggests, it's a non-invasive test. It tests for genetic problems such as Down syndrome, which you might heard have heard of. It is an abnormality in the 21st pair of the chromosomes of the fetus. So what does it do? Uh, from about 10 weeks of gestation, baby cells start circulating in the mother's blood. As the pregnancy advances, the number of baby cells increases. So this sample is collected. The baby cells are extracted from the blood and checked for any genetic abnormalities. We don't usually suggest or recommend this test to everybody. A basic test called combined screening or a first trimester screening is more than enough in younger women. But in women who are older than 35 or in those women who have had abnormalities with the first trimester screening test, uh, such as getting intermediate or high risk results, such women are recommended NIPT before going on to more advanced invasive tests such as amniocentesis or chorionic velar sampling. So if you want to do it, it's perfectly all right to do it even if it is not medically needed, especially if you are somebody who needs to know for sure. This test has in fact got 99.6% accuracy and it's very good at predicting any genetic problems. Again, it's a screening test, not a diagnostic test. If you get a low risk result, you will not be asked to do anything further. However, if you get an intermediate or high risk report, then your doctor may recommend an invasive test such as amniocentesis or chorionic villus sampling. So discuss that with your doctor to know whether you need it or not.